Over the years, I've found a wide range of humans to admire. Not because they were perfect, but because they pushed themselves to some limit of potential. I took pictures of a few of these people. I printed them out and attached them to wood squares. I built a rack for these wood squares so I can arrange the pictures according to how I want to be guided or inspired. I call it my personal pantheon. So now, I'd like to introduce you to a few of the figures in my personal pantheon. Clarence Darrow, a feisty lawyer who stood against the death penalty. Tallulah Bankhead, a lively actress who owned her pleasure in public. Art Tatum, left ecstatic trails with impossibly busy fingers on lucky pianos. Howard Rheingold, an author and community builder who works to evolve human cooperation. Joan Hall, a pioneering woman lawyer, unafraid to make a career that hadn't been made before. EQ, a Zen Buddhist monk from Japan in the 1400s who stood up to authority and then took responsibility. Jimi Hendrix, channeled visions into a musical feeling. Duke Ellington, who brought irresistible compositions to life through collaboration. I want to understand how other people have lived and stayed alive through pain. <sighs> There's so much pain possible in our little lives. How can we steer ourselves towards pleasure or meaning or relieving suffering for other people? I draw inspiration from these faces. So now I want to ask, who is in your personal pantheon and where would you keep it? I'm Justin Hall, and I'm an experimental evangelist, and I'm grateful that you're watching me explore what that means. <laughs>